So in this Derby Taught Me series, I've talked about the importance of finding your playstyle, then I broke down the fundamentals of the aggro and the tank down playstyle. And so today, I'm going to show you 10 different 2 Esper combos you can implement in your drafting which can hopefully help you be less afraid to jump into casual matches and improve your overall PvP experience. But before I jump into it, why 2 Esper combos? Mm. That's because when drafting, you're always drafting a combination of 5 Espers and one of them is usually getting banned. So by picking your combos in pairs, you would solidify the backbone of your entire draft and open up a thread of combos that can work in synergy with the pair. These combos are in no particular order, so don't be too tied up in where they are on the list. So without further ado, drop a like on this video for the algo to help push this to more players and let's jump into it. This is an extremely potent combo popularized by the one and only Aeon. In this combo, you are utilizing Gaius as a stripper and stunner before you go into God King mode and delete your opponent's entire career. Picking these two as a pair usually means that one stripper is getting through your draft regardless of what your opponent bans. And your opponent has the choice between either getting AP manipulated to death or getting nuked to oblivion. Shout out to Aeon, so go check him out. Link is in the description down below. Ollie is one of those espers that gives you 2 turns of board time to do whatever your DPS of choice needs to do should they choose to tunnel all their damage into your DPS. And so this combo works particularly well with Taylor because he excels the more HP he loses. His S1 benefits from having low HP, and since he's at 0 HP, he gets a whopping 50% extra damage. This is how you typically see Taylor go beast mode and one man cleave an entire team with his extra turn every time he kills an esper. Alright, I'll be real with you guys. This is a combo I rarely see anyone use and I don't understand why. They are made for each other. Sienna resets an entire team's AP while giving the team speed up and attack up, and Sender scales off both those buffs. Letting any one of these two in the same team at any one time means that you're playing against a 3v4 in RTA. So be very careful if you see this combo picked into you. The Arbon Hyde pair is a rather unorthodox combo. Being in the presence of Hyde usually makes your opponent try their best to nuke down Hyde's first life before he gains stacks and become a menace to deal with. However, one miscalculation on their end and Armut will fully heal Hyde and grant him 10 extra stacks, nullifying all the work your opponent put into deleting his first life. So plan accordingly if you're going to be dealing with this combo, or use it to your advantage and just... win. This is the OG cleave setup that was used back in Season 1 of Warm Up Match. And to this day, this combo still works. The idea is to bring two AP pushes to make sure your DPS takes the first turn with immunity, attack up, crit rate up and shield to make sure no CC will ruin your sequencing, and then just unga bunga your S3. Most of the time, you would have crippled your opponent's entire team, forcing them to play a 4v2 which usually ends in a forfeit. This combo relies on you putting your two of your fastest sets on your AP pushes to make sure you take the initiative when the battle starts. This is a spin-off the classic combo that were Gabriel and Donar and Gabriel and Renzi. The idea behind this combo was to keep your slower DPS immune from being controlled with a 3 turn immunity buff and make these defense scaling aspers tankier while amping their damage output. You'll typically see this combo in a tank draft, so draft accordingly, or two outcomes will happen. Either they are so tanky and you cannot break through their defense and die a slow and painful death, or get nuked to oblivion. Now the reason I did not write any DPS name here is because Abigail is an amazing pair with any single target nuker that can capitalize on an attack up. The idea behind this combo is using Abigail to steal the turn with your slower DPS and nuking one of your opponent's units from the get-go. So think Leora, Biodina, Xiaoyin, Ophelia, Sander, and so on. Any DPS that can put pressure early on works well with Abigail. The plus? Abigail gives them a second life since you typically build them rather squishy. A popular team that was brought to light during the first season of RTA, this team leverages the effects of Pandora's box deployed by an Essidora to whittle down your opponent's HP while keeping them immobilized through stuns. In order to successfully pull this off, Tricky is there to strip away immunity, apply speed down and enable his team to lap around the opponent's team with the help of an Essidora speed up buff. 
Probably the most notorious pair, this duo is known for making your team extremely tanky and resilient against debuffs. This combo relies on Jin Yuyo to constantly move and remove debuffs while stunning your opponent and abusing Sally in her Sweet Harvest state to constantly get healed. At R6, they start with Sally's Sweet Harvest state, making the entire team tanky from the get-go. If you're one who wants to play it safe, I would recommend this as a baseline for learning tank. And there you have it. Hopefully you found some of these combos helpful so you can start winning in PvP more consistently. Don't forget to share your favourite combos in the comments down below and let me know how they've worked out for you. If you're wondering how to find your playstyle or you are wondering just what the aggro or tank playstyle is like, check out the playlist in the descriptions below and I'll catch you there.